Okay, here we've got a box plot. Uh, box plots are really good for showing data, like how um, how spread out the data is. Like um, looking at the distribution of the data. Um, each of these lines down here, they mean something. So this line here, that's the lowest value. So in this case, the plant with the lowest height. So the lowest value. And this one is the highest value. So that's the tallest plant. Highest value. The one right in the middle, that's called the median. So that's the middle number. If you line down, put all the numbers in order, all the heights of plants in order, that'll be the middle one. This is the lower quartile. So that's a quarter of the way in. So if you imagine all the plants were lined up in a row, that's the lowest one. This is the lower quartile, that's the median, and this one is the upper quartile. So you have to know what each of the lines in a box plot means. Um, and then we should be able to draw them. So here's time. Um, we've got lowest time, highest time, median, upper quartile, lower quartile. So that's all the information we need. So the lowest time, 21 seconds. So we, we use that and we put a line there at 21 seconds. Use a ruler if you can. Um, highest time, 92 seconds. So that's the line on the other side. Um, then the box in the middle, that's the lower quartile. So that's 30 seconds. Try and do it as accurate as I can. Um, the medians at 55, so that's there, and the upper quartiles at 77, so that's in there. And then this becomes the two end bits, so we call them whiskers, and the box comes around. This is why you should use a ruler. The box comes around the edge here. So that is how you draw a box plot. Um, the other thing we do with box plots is well, it's what they're really useful for is comparing two sets of data. So this is the time boys and girls took to do a task. Um, to compare them, always try to compare um, the median so the median is the average so try and compare the median and a measure of range measure of spread so interquartile range so if you're asked to compare two box plots look at the two medians so the boys median the girls median sorry is 53 seconds so 53 the boys median is 48 seconds so we could say the boys um, had a lower median, uh, 48 compared to 53, and then this showed the boys completed the task in a shorter time. So this shows the boys on average completed the task in a shorter time. In a shorter time. Excuse my handwriting. Um, then we can look at the interquartile range. So this is 34, lower quartile, 66, upper quartile. So the interquartile range, 66 minus 34, 32. For the girls, um, lower quartile the boys is 32, upper quartile is 64, 64 minus 32 is also 32. So the interquartile range for both uh, groups was 32. Um, this shows that the spread This shows there um, was no difference in the spread of the data. Sp 
spread of the data. So whenever you get given box plots to compare, pick out the median, pick out the interquartile range. So a measure of average and a measure of spread, um, and then compare them. So which is bigger? What's it show? And then you should be able to answer any questions on comparing box plots.